How's it going guys? It's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to the very first week of the very first season of the Pokemon Champions League. Straight into things today, I haven't got too much time to ramble on. Uh, as you can see, the teams are in front of us. I will quickly go over my draft, because I appreciate that hasn't been mentioned at all anywhere. Actually, this whole league hasn't been mentioned anywhere, really, um, on my channel. So I'll quickly go over my draft here, and I'll quickly go over Merc's draft as well. Obviously, I should quickly mention that my opponent is Merc, and he is manager of the San Francisco Reggie Giants. Sorry if I slaughtered that. It's probably based on some American franchise of some sort, but my knowledge of American sport is terrible. Um, my draft, and obviously I'll let you know Merc's draft as well. Um, I will try and put a uh, copy-paste of uh, the showdown, or sorry, of the showdown uh, thing of my team in the description below. My draft is as follows, Mega Charizard X, Excadrill, Florgis, Keldeo, Decidueye, Porygon 2, Tornadus Incarnate, Raichu, Alola, Gigalith, and Cloyster. Lots of things on my draft this week which I really did consider um, bringing. It was quite hard to build for Merc's team. Merc's team, however, is uh, ridiculously scary. He has got the Clefable, Necrozma, Scolopede, Zygarde 10%, Superior, Alamomola, Fortress, Zerkatree, Aerodactyl, and Mega Sharpedo. Now, there are things on his team which he didn't bring, which I was amazingly surprised by. Zygarde 10% was a huge shock, because obviously it dealt with Charizard X quite well. Uh, it also hit the... Uh, the uh, I can't even remember what it's called. Tornadus, that's the one. Um, it hits Gigalith, it hits Excadrill. I was pretty much stuffed as to what I could bring, but from what I can remember, I'll go over my team briefly. Uh, I've got a Adamant Max Attack. Um, Gigalith, which is there for Stealth Rocks and attacking things with Sandstream, of course, to benefit my Excadrill. I've got a Choice Scarfed um, Tornadus, just in, well, just in case he did decide to bring the, uh, the Scolopede and the Superior with some speed boosting shenanigans. I have got a, I believe it's a your standard kind of P2, um, a specially defensive Florgis, I believe. And then a kind of bulky but adamant nature Charizard with Substitute. That's what I can remember from memory. If I'm wrong, you'll be able to see from uh, the notes below in the description. But as you can see, Merc's team is pretty scary. I should also point out that Sharpedo is mega. I know I've already gone through his draft. Okay, I had to cut away there slightly because my brother decided to walk in while I was recording. Um, let's get back to the game. Uh, I say let's get back to the game. I'd almost finished recording my narration, then he walked in and ruined it, so I'm starting again. Um, as you can see, I led off with Tornadus. I am Scarf, so I'll outspeed everything other than Scarf Superior. Uh, red card on the Fortress, obviously, in case I had some kind of setup, which is kind of cool, actually. Um, the Charizard luckily does get brought in. I tried to set up a sub, but this thing's actually got Earthquake, as I was expecting a Switch or a Hazard Stack. Um, but I decided to set that thing up before it can has a stack on me, so uh, it's a shame that it's got earthquake because obviously it does break my substitute. Now, I'm going to bring Gigalith, which is a really stupid play. It's a recurring theme of mine in this battle. Um, I don't play my best. Um, take, <laughs> make that of what you will. Um, he does go for the earthquake, which is obvious because I had a Charizard in, and I should have gone into this thing in the first place, the, the duck. Um, by the way, it's the Battle of the Birds versus Snakes because everything on his team's got Snake in the name, and everything on my team's got Bird in the name, so. Um, I should have bought this thing in first because it kind of just takes it on really well because he hasn't got set up uh, other than speed boost. And uh, I I mean, I can just sit here and just spam try attack on it. Hopefully, get a paralysis or burn. You know, that'd be quite nice on a speed boosting mon with uh, physical attacks. But no, he actually reveals baton pass, which I wasn't expecting. I mean, obviously, in team building stage, I was thinking it's something very possible with Zerka Tree in the back because Zerka Tree at plus three speed is uh, like super spooky. Um, I wasn't expecting him to go into Club Fable, um, but now we've got a plus three speed Club Fable. And I'm thinking, okay, well, you know, I'll take this thing on 1v1. P2 will probably win if I can get some kind of hacks. Maybe Paralysis, because obviously Burn um, wouldn't do any damage, because he is Magic Guard, because you can see the sand isn't actually affecting him. I am obviously getting speed boost, so I will outspeed him, which is nice. Um, but then he reveals Calm Mind, and I'm like, oh, oh. Oh dear, I'm, I might just lose at this point because my physical hit is uh, Excadrill and Charizard. Charizard's weak, obviously it won't appreciate the rocks, I have to try and get rid of rocks. So I'm thinking, okay, with the sand up, I'll outspeed this Clefay, but oh wait, I can't count my sand turns. There's even a massive counter in the top left-hand corner, and I still ignored it. So I get back into Gigalith here thinking, right, my only savior here is I'm going to have to set up the sand and get Excadrill back in. Um, he obviously stays in Clicks Flame Thrower, that was kind of cool. Um, for me, because obviously I get the sand up, and he then gets greedy and clicks Carmine again. If he'd have just killed me off, then he probably could have just swept me with Clefable. Um, but I click Heavy Slam and kill it. Now I'm thinking, okay, Stealth Rocks are here still. 
I need to spin them away, but I can keep Gigalith potentially for the sand. Hindsight, that's a terrible, terrible play. Didn't actually need the sand for anything, because spoilers, Sharpedo has Aqua Jet. Um, Florgius would have been quite nice for the potential, uh, obviously, well, Dark Resist of the Sharpedo. It could obviously have Poison Jab, and the Crossmirror could have been able to potentially take on quite well. Plus, there is the Healing Factor of Wish, which could have been useful on uh, P2. Potentially the Escadrill and the Charizard, but I rather stupidly let that thing die to uh, my. Uh, sorry, let Floor just die to the Superior. So I'm going to bring my Scarf to Onadus and I just click Air Slash. Don't know if he realised if I was Scarf. I haven't really shown it to him because obviously Fortress gets out slowed, or sorry, gets out sped by this thing anyway. Um, so here he. I'm going to have to sack off Gigalith, which means no more sand for me. Um, and he does reveal the Aqua Jet. So I could have probably stayed in and continued to Air Slash because I doubt Aqua Jet at that range would have killed. Air Slash may have not killed this thing, but it certainly would have done a good chunk. So I have one turn left of Sand and probably should have clicked Rapid Spin um, because Charizard could still definitely heal itself up against the Necrozma. So in comes the, the Shark, and the Shark is still very scary. I'm going to sack off the Charizard because... I'm not really going to have much of a chance otherwise against this thing. Um, going to go into Tornadus now. And uh, obviously after rocks, I can only take one more rock switch in. I'm going to click Air Slash and he makes the play into the Necrozma. So obviously I'm 3 to up at this point. Numbers wise, you know, sort of momentum wise, he definitely has it. Uh, because he's got this bulky thing. And I know from PPL how how good this thing can be. You know, on paper, I maybe I haven't done so well in game. But on paper, you know how scary this thing can be. Uh, going to go into P2. And unfortunately, he gets a crit psycho cut. Now, you know, in the long run, it may not have mattered, but in the short run, I, you know, I could have potentially recovered after this second psycho cut and uh, potentially got all the way back up to some kind of higher amount of health. Um, I can't remember if I had Toxic on P2 or not. I want to say I did, um, but you know, the team below might prove me wrong. And uh, unfortunately, we do uh, lose P2 to a crit, and then we lose this thing. I had to go for Iron Head to try and play for the flinch. That would have been the only way. I could have then kept extra around. I don't know if I'd have lived an Aqua Jet or not from the um, Sharpedo, but you know, there's there's always a chance. And I do get the Air Slash Flinch, that's all I could play for, really, to play for the 1 0. Um, but at this point, we already know that the Sharpedo has Aqua Jet, and that is going to be uh, the kill on Tornadus. And that's going to be the game. A very, very quick game against Merc. We both played very aggressive. Um, like I said, definitely not my greatest game of all times, but I was preparing and playing this in between a PPL game. I think it was against Shardy that week, so I was very much, thank you phone, I was very much concentrating on that. Um, but it's a very good game to just start the season off with, you know, it's a 1-0 it's a loss. I believe that does get me a point, um, so at least it wasn't a whitewash like I was expecting. He had so many things on his team, which offensively matched up so incredibly well against me, so... Yeah, definitely went better than I thought, uh, result-wise. However, I actually definitely played that poorly, and upon watching this a million times, trying to get, record this because of my brother, um, I could have definitely done a lot better. So, if I haven't said already, I can't remember because I have the shortest memory span, apparently. Go check out Merck's uh, Twitter and YouTube below. Go check out the PCL Twitter as well, which I'll also link if I remember. Um, otherwise, that's pretty much it. Make sure you subscribe and like. Um, otherwise, I'll leave you guys to get on with your day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.